What's going on everybody? It's Jesse. I got my sixth snack crate, if you can believe it or not. I am actually four behind because college is completely kicking my butt. Uh, being the last semester is crazy. I've been working for a funeral home full time, so it's it's been busy. So, let's get into this snack crate. Ooh, we have... Russia! Woo! Check it out. I love these little cards. I actually save them so when I'm an old shriveled raisin in the corner, I can look back and be like, Oh, I used to gum caramel before it got stuck in my poly den. There we go with that. These are also cool. You know, it talks about the, the goodies. Actually, Chair, um, yeah. So in Russia, you know, there is this movie, Chernobyl. It is about the explosion and how it happened. I find it very fascinating. It's a five-part series. Definitely a great buy on Amazon. Oh, at least I find it fascinating anyways. The paper looks like... Oh, hi. <laughs> so my dog wants to say, well, come here. Come here. <laughs> So this is Timber. This is my little buddy. Can you say hi, Timber? He goes all the time. Can you say hi? Hi, people. <laughs> He's just up here because he knows I have food. Every other time I, you know, see his hiney hole for days. All right. So what do we have from Russia? A uh, bunch of shit I can't read. Um, onion rings. Okay, so we've, all right, I'm just gonna do this. Excuse me, can I help you? All right, so for this one, I'm gonna eat, um, I, I can't even say that. So this is what the package looks like. Apparently, <coughs> apparently it's a, the thinnest crisps, 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 English, <laughs> Excuse me, I just fed you. Alright, so it's a uh, Russian potato chip. Dust it with creamy and savory cheese. This tastes like uh, Pringles that have been rolling around in an old shoe. Excuse me here. Can't eat nothing without him up my ass. He'll be back. Oh, my God. Not too bad. They don't taste like old shoe anymore. I mean, that's like customary in Russia. Like, the first couple of chips you eat are nasty. Oh, you're back? Hi. All right. I'm going to save these for later. Um, a friend of mine asked me, she's like, well, when you say you save them for later, what does that mean? It means I don't want to stuff my face with, like, the entire bag right now. So what I do is I, um, like, set them on the side or put them in, like, a Ziploc bag for later or the next day um, or take them to work. I was actually going to take one of these snack crates to work, but that might be kind of awkward if I'm in the... Like the embalming prep room and, you know, I'm sitting there talking to myself. I don't really know what my boss would think. <laughs> I really don't. Um, now we have onion rings. I bet they're chips. Um, <sighs> Airy puffed onion rings covered with a favorite Russian flavor of mushroom. Oh, I hate mushrooms. Ugh. Well, I guess, like many things, you don't know if you don't try, so. It doesn't smell like mushrooms. It's poofy. It's like a mushroom funyun. Here, Timber, eat this. Oh, these taste like ass. 
I'm gonna give them to my mom. She likes mushrooms. That was nasty. Should I'm all out of lemonade. What kind of crap is this? Now we have. They always pack so much into these. So now we. Ooh. Um. A drink, which I can't even pronounce. This classic drink is described as tasting like the journey into the heart of the magical fairy T-A-I-G-A. Taiga. Oh, looks like Tiega needs some help. I'm going to set that on the side. Um, ooh, that's salmon. I'm not cool enough like the people on Snack Crate. Um, a fun twist on a favorite Russian snack. Salmon and cheese flavored rusks with tartar sauce for dipping. I'm going to set those on the side. I don't, I don't know about any of that. Cookies! No, you can never go wrong with cookies. Um, oh, it's it's not a cookie. It's squishy. <clears throat> um, a cake, <coughs> a cake banana. Sweet and spongy. Well, it spells banana -ny. Is that a word? banana -ny? Well, it is now. Oh, it looks like a, a hippo. I was going to say monkey, but that wouldn't be right. Okay. This is good. Banana -ny. My dog keeps staring at me. He didn't even eat the mushroom thing either. The mushroom thing either. Alright. Um. Ooh, that was good. Mmm. <clears throat> no. Huh. Are these? Oh. I got two lucky rolls. Um, will the rolls help you get lucky? Never mind. Um, sweet and crispy wafer smothered in condensed milk coating and rolled into the perfect snacking roll. And you're back. Damn dog. So when I go to the grocery store, like my cart, um, cause of COVID, I'm try to <clears throat> not go to the store as much. Um, cause I got you wearing the masks and all this other shit. So I always show up with like a skull mask cause I just don't give a shit. Um, and I always go and like, I'm prepping for winter. Um, I'm like one of them doomsday preppers. I've got toilet paper, paper towels, butt wipes. Cause you gotta have a clean hiney hole. And dog food, well, one day my cart was, like, full of dog food. And the woman is like, how many dogs do you have? And I'm like, um, I've got, like, a 25-little-pound French bulldog. And she's like, oh. So, yeah. If this thing explodes on my laptop, I'm not going to be happy. Oh. It didn't even fully open. I'm trying not to curse as much. When you're meeting with grieving families and the com computer doesn't work, you can't be like, ah, fuck. Well, I mean, you could, but you'd probably get fired. Doesn't smell like anything. Kind of tastes like... Like, they took, like, raw ginger and, like, put it in soda water. That's That's literally what it tastes like. A magical fairy. Wow. Magical fairies. All right. All right. Uh, now we have this waffle thing. A cherry waffle. <laughs> um, 
A soft and fluffy home style waffle that is literally jam packed. Oh, like traffic yesterday. Enjoy a tart cherry filling in this breakfast favorite. Ooh. I have this, I got it at Target. This little um, waff, Belgian waffle maker. They're proud, the little waffles come out like that big. They're, they're really cute. So if anybody's interested in waffles, you can come on over to my house. And the recipe they give you um, on the box, but I looked it up online because I tossed that. Um, it makes like, I think 15 waffles. And that's, that's a lot of waffles. So it smells cherry. Oh yeah. This is good. He didn't eat the mushrooms, but here. I'm gonna try this at home. Well, I am at home, but. I'm gonna make little Belgian waffles, take some cherry jam and smear it on there. That'll be my breakfast. And there's some days I'm at the funeral home for like six, seven, eight hours, which I mean, it's not like a regular nine to five job, um, which is good and bad. Like every job has pros and cons. Monday we had two death calls. Yesterday we had to meet with the families. I mean, I'm not licensed yet. I'm on internship. So after I, um, Get done with school, take my boards, and I do one year residency, then I get licensed. I've seen one embalming. That was gnarly. And a lot of this is really filling. I don't want to make another video and then add on to it because I don't know how to do that. And like two waffles squished together. Trying to hide my gut. Alright. What do we have now? It like never ends in these snack crates. It really doesn't. Oh, this is cool. Little babushka baby! I have, um, two sets of nesting dolls. Um, one was sent to me by my cousin, Gabby, <clears throat> um, who lives in Germany. Um, and like the nesting dolls are like the dolls in each other. So you got the little one, then they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I've got a small, small set. It was probably like that small. And then Gabby sent me another one, which is this small. I have them in my living room. They are awesome. I love them. <clears throat> I think, I think this is chocolate here with the baby on it. Um, named after the daughter of the first woman in space, this milk chocolate bar has been on the market leader in Russia since 1966. Alyonka. If the Russians could hear me pronounce that, they ass cheeks probably tightened. Actually, this drink is kind of growing on me. That chocolate, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have some gummies! Uh, Crippet Opiet. This is like a children's snack. <clears throat> I keep looking at this, I probably. These exotic candies are made with real fruit juices and featured unique flavors like pomegranate, raspberry, peach, pear, apple, and passion fruit. Actually, palm. Who does the pomegranate drinks? They actually came out with, oh crap! It was like a white um <clears throat> shit. It was like white pear peach. It's actually very good. I I didn't think it was gonna be good. Um, my dog is back, and um, it's really good. This is is this peach? I think Mrs. Peach. Can I help you? 
Oh, he's not eating those. Did you eat those mushrooms? Yes, no. They're like, all oh, these taste like shit. Give me what you're having. So, yeah. I love gummies. Why do you keep staring at me? Here. Have this one year old chip. And then I wondered why he has, you know, blow out, blown out his butthole. And even though I really don't give him a lot of, you know, weird food, just kind of for that reason. Kind of move this over. I have one of those um, TV dinner tables. You know, you can like fold up, you could slide them under the couch. And then I bought this tripod, which I'm using. It's actually like 20 bucks worth it. Um, actually, this looks like a little helicopter. I don't know if you can see that, but. <laughs> you are video bombing me. That's a new thing, video bomb. Oh, for Pete's sake. Do you want a gummy? Here. Here. Oh, these are all in the shape of an airplane, I think. Or, or helicopter, excuse me. Sorry, I'm not as interesting as I usually am. All right, so this is going to be put into a Ziploc baggie and saved for later. Um, Basker wheels. This looks like a pancake with filling. And that is probably exactly what it is. Light and fluffy pancakes with a surprise raspberry jam seeping out of every little bite. You know... My shirts, like these t-shirts and whatnot, are not Jesse approved until they have some sort of food stain on them. Um, this. <laughs> this is crap, you know that. I think this is going to be my best one yet. Here. You're just going to sneeze on this? Huh? <laughs> How would you like if you're eating something juicy and all of a sudden I go <laughs> on that? I feel like I eat it anyways. I can stare down over here. I figured out if you don't look him in the eyes, you will not engage the dog. I'm not engaging the dog. Hi. Do hey, you want to finish this for me? Oh, he'd love to. He would. Okay, that goes over here. Oh, cool. Now I have two of these that look like a flattened pancake. A soft and fluffy homestyle waffle that is literally... Oh, no. Wrong one. <clears throat> yeah, what's with the waffles in Russia? Is that where waffles came from and pancakes? Were they originally, originally made in Russia? All right, two soft and chewy waffle cookies sandwiched around a layer of thick caramel. Oh, yeah, I see the swirl there. <clears throat> well, Jess, how's your diet going? Great. Ooh, this is really... This is thin and... This, this is a big waffle. This is like size of my well, size of my palm here 
Now, he will literally just stare at me. I don't know whether this is good or tastes like shit. It's squishy. It's unique. I had a Russian friend in high school. Couldn't understand a damn thing they were saying, but I'm just like, yep. Sounds great. Um. I find this funny. They're like singing tomato, crunchy tomato sticks. I actually don't like tomatoes, but I like ketchup. I don't know if that counts for anything. Hmm. Anyone who's thinking about getting a snack crate, they're worth it. But if you have kids, hide them. Because the kids will want everything you have. At least that's what I heard. I was getting all the little crumbs I dropped. Why are you licking my elbow? Window licker. Him's a mama window licker. Um, we have like the walls too, which I I find weird. And now I'm gonna try these tomato sticks. Actually, they're not bad. They should take these and put them in a fancy Italian restaurants here. They don't really taste like tomatoes either. They're like a harder, crunchier version of croutons. Here. One day I threw a treat. I'm like, here, ketchup. It's not opening up his mouth. It just bond him in the head. I laughed. Oh, good. Now he's over there. Woo. Got a little spice to him. I'm very excited. To get into the other three. Um, I saved these. I think I already said that. I'm going to save those for later, too. And then that is actually... Oh, look at this! This is so cute! Oh, it's a button! A little b babushka button. Babushka doll. This month we've included a souvenir button that can be sewn onto your clothing or used in a scrapbook to remind you of your Russian adventure. This item is not for human consumption. The fact that... Okay. Who in the hell would be like, oh yeah, and then eat this? This is so cute. This, this makes me very happy. I don't know why it just does. I'm going to put it right there. And then probably suck it up with a vacuum eight weeks later and then wonder where it went to. Um, a lucky roll. I'm going to try this lucky roll and then I'm going to be done for the night. This, oh shit, it's really crumbly. A 
Oh, the condensed milk. And then the one with the little the little girl on it, the chocolate. I really don't want to open that. Um, I mean, it'd be easier if there was like a couple people sitting here. And, um, you know, we were all eating it, which wouldn't be bad. But um, this, this is very crunchy, by the way. This isn't really blowing my socks off. This is like a crunchy wafer. It's like a rolled outside part of a cannoli. So, I'm going to get the stuff out of here. I think that was it. Make sure there's no other little buttons in here, but I think that was just one. I mean, that's cool, a little souvenir. I like that. I know the first box I got from the Philippines, that one was nasty. Um, the only thing nice about that was the... Um, um, Little stickers they sent me. I've always wanted to go to Russia. You know, I, I thought that would be cool. But I'm too poor right now. I can travel probably to like the mailbox and bank back with the money in my bank account. <clears throat> so I really like Russia. Um, had a lot of interesting stuff. Couldn't read half of it. Um, oh, and this one. The salmon one, I'm actually gonna... Alright, you know what? Screw it. What's one more? Mm. So this, does it really... Yeah, it does really come with dipping sauce. That is the sauce. I don't even know how to say it. You really gotta grow up in Russia, then. So, it smells like ranch and old shoe. I'm not opening up the tartar sauce. I'm gonna give this one to my mom, too. Oh, here, you like fish, right? So, I, I actually really do like Russia. Um, check out that Chernobyl DVD. It's very worth the watch. Shit. They're like an hour a piece. Um, the fourth um, disc, I don't really care for. I think it's the fourth one. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, I just find it really interesting. I never knew really much about Chernobyl and the truth. I think you can go visit there now. Um, so yeah, that's all for Russia. I will be back with my seventh one, hopefully soon, hopefully. <laughs>